Okay, so in this video we're going to go over installing Kali Linux on a physical machine. Uh, last video we went over installing it on a virtual. This time we're going to create a bootable USB that will install it on a physical laptop. First thing we need is Rufus, which is our USB creator. Come out to rufus.akeo.ie, link down below. And you're going to scroll halfway down to the download button and download 3.3. Let's go ahead and click it and you'll have your download down there. And next we're going to get our Kali operating system. So Kali.org download. And here you can either select to download through HTTP or torrent. Uh, doesn't really matter. I've already got a copy of it. So click the one you like. HTTP. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this one. We already got a copy of it, but that's where it'll be. And it's a pretty easy process. Make sure you got your USB plugged in. Go ahead and launch Rufus. And our iDrive is my USB I'm going to be using. I'm going to leave it at disk ISO image. Then select. Browse out to where you have your ISO at. So here we're going to use the full image. And it should autofill the rest of this quick format. You can leave all the rest of the stuff. Leave it on FAT32 and click start. You'll get this pop up. Click yes. And now extremely important step. Make sure you select write to DD image. Otherwise you're going to get a disk error to where it will not recognize the USB and you will not be able to install Kali. So again, select write in DD image mode. And once you select OK, it will begin the compression. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that part because it's going to take about 5 to 10 minutes. So we'll pause the video and pick up. Alright, we have finished making our bootable USB. We should be able to come over here to our USB drive. And we see our grub bootloader sitting right there. Okay, so next we're going to go down the system tray, eject our USB, and we will now move over to the physical part of the laptop. So, when your machine comes on, make sure you select your boot options. For us, it's going to be F9. For you, it may be something else. And we're going to select our USB boot. Again, your BIOS will probably look different. Uh, you need to dig around a little bit and find your USB booting option. Select enter. And we should see a Kali splash screen. We're going to come down to graphical installer. Enter. And you'll see a few things come through here. Alright, um, most of the stuff you can next through the default language, English, location, set it to what you like, and key mapping, select your keyboard. Uh, here we go. Now it's loading installer components. This is the part that if you did not use Rufus with the DD image, you would not be able to load this part. So again, make sure you write to that DD image. Shouldn't take too long, a few minutes at most. Alright, it's finished. Let's start detecting network options. Um, at the moment, this laptop is not going to be on my internal network. So here in a second, it'll ask us to connect it. Finding wireless drivers. Um, we'll go ahead and tell it to use the gigabit. It's not going to find anything, but it's going to try. Uh, 
All right, we'll sell to continue. We do not need it to update at the moment. And we'll select do not configure the network at this time and continue. Host name, uh, we'll go ahead and leave it Cali for now. Then we're going to set up our root password um, for now. Again, this is just a test machine, so we're just not going to do, go too crazy here. Let's call it T O O R and confirm it T O O R and continue. Um, Eastern, sure, why not? Okay, detecting disks. For here, we're going to use the entire disk, and we will use the hard drive. You can tell your hard drive should be obviously the larger of the two. This is our USB local hard drive. Select that. All files are partitioned. Okay, and yep, looks good. So go ahead and partition the drive. Tell it yes. This could take a while depending on how large your drive is. This is a pretty small drive, so I don't believe it's gonna to take too terribly long. All right, so this is gonna take a while. We'll go ahead and pause the video and come back to it. Okay, so it finished running through that part. Now it's asking us for a network, network mirroring. I'm gonna continue with no. Grub bootloader shouldn't take too long, I wouldn't think. Again, this is a pretty old machine, so uh, yeah, your results may vary. All right, install bootloader on hard disk or tell it yes. If you select no, basically you're saying you don't want this uh, disk to be bootable, but installing grub bootloader will be able to actually boot to the disk. So we'll tell it continue with yes. And select your hard drive. Again, generic USB flash disk, not what we want. Western Digital, that's what this WD is. That's what we want. So yours will be different, more than likely. So make sure you select the correct one. Well, again, we'll go ahead and pause. Oh. Never mind. Okay, finishing the last part, it looks like. Okay, finish installation. Click continue. Um, removing live packages. It's probably removing stuff from the RAM. I'm taking a guess.
skin shouldn't be too much longer here. Just to give everyone an idea of what we're running on here, we got a Centurion Duo processor. So this machine originally came with XP. Well, we'll let it run and uh, come back when it's finished. Okay, that last loading bar just finished up. And now it looks like we are rebooting. Hmm, entering rescue mode. Let's go ahead and hit enter on that. Oh. Let's try rebooting. Okay, so. Uh, it took a few minutes, but after poking around at it, I figured out what was going on. Just need to remove the USB and reboot. So, here it's rebooted. We're back into Kali. Try our password. No. Username. Then password. And probably give it a second for initial boot. Okay. And there we are. Here's your Kali on a physical machine. So we'll probably go into a bit more detail on how to use some of the tools in Kali later, but just wanted to get the basics down of how to install it on a physical machine. Ran into a few problems. Uh, I'll be posting videos on troubleshooting the installation of Kali. Uh, on this install, it went by pretty smooth because my other attempts failed out pretty bad. Thank you for watching. Links to any tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you, or if you'd like to see a video on another topic. Thank you for watching.